how do you pick better books in 2020 you try your best to pick good books in 2019 some were good some were bad but now going to 2020 when a decade is coming to an end you really want to stick to good books how do you do that how do you pick better books in 2020 find that out in this video hi there i am manpreet i make book related videos on this channel if you are new here please make sure you subscribe turn your notifications on and follow me on my social media so without further ado i would like to get into this video and tell you how do you pick better books in 2020 understand why it's even important i mean some of you might be questioning Books take a lot of investment of time and money. At the same time, they also take a lot of mental investment. You might not realize it, but books deeply impact your emotional state, much more than any movie or any other form of entertainment does. So when you pick an average book, it really impacts your state of mind. It really impacts how you feel. And you don't want to feel upset, sad, depressed because of books, okay? Life is hard enough for all of us. You don't want books to do that job for you. So this is why you need to be picking better books that can serve your purpose, give you knowledge, entertain you, inspire you, motivate you, keep you happy, and just be your companion throughout the year. So how do you do that? Number one, research. What kind of books do you think you will like? Make a note of all the books that you have liked in the past. And now try to research for similar books. The safest way to pick better books is to find books similar to the ones that you have liked. But there's a lot to it. You need to find a good book, not just a similar book. So how do you find a good book? Reviews. See, there are two kinds of reviews. Real reviews and fake reviews. You need to learn how to differentiate between the real and fake ones. I would suggest you to rely on authorities instead of random reviews of Amazon to pick your books. When I say authority sources, you can look up to booktubers, book reviewers, bookstagrammers, the people who you know and you think you can believe for book recommendations. So rely on those than just random reviews on Amazon because trust me, people review books on Amazon for like 100 rupees. I know there are some companies operating that are offering people free books and 10 rupees for giving a 5 star review. You really do not want those people to contribute to you picking a book. So do your research before you pick up a book. Do not just rely on those high star ratings and those bestseller tags on Amazon. Those are also easily buyable. The bestseller tags and you know, the huge number of five stars and lots of ads. All of those things can be bought by money. But you cannot buy your time and your emotional state with money, right? So you do not want to lose it to such practices. So all in all, what I mean is be an informed consumer. When you are on the internet, you are consuming throughout. You are consuming this content. Everything you do, you, you scroll social media, you look for a book, you shop online. Whatever you do online, you are consuming. And being an informed consumer is the only way you have to stay safe from people who are trying to dupe you of your time, your money, and of your mental well-being. Lastly, try before you buy. On Amazon, on Flipkart, there are several books that have their samples. So before just impulsively buying a book, try to read those samples. And if you are going to a store to buy a book, then read the first 10 pages, 20 pages before picking up that book. Don't just read the back cover. Because trust me, the back covers are usually designed and the content is usually decided by a marketing team. The author has little to do with it. So what the author has actually written in the book and what the book is really like, you cannot figure that out by looking at the back cover. I know that's what we have been doing for ages, but now is the time to change because there's so much of clutter. There are so many books that don't even deserve to be published that are being published because of self-publishing and because of publishers who do not really care about providing good content and just want the money from the hype some books are able to create. So you cannot rely on the back cover. You have to read the pages of the book to decide whether you want to spend your next 5-10 hours on that book or not. And also, and also start buying quality over quantity. I know a lot of us love to buy those books which are below 100 rupees or 100 to 150 rupees. And I understand a lot of you might be going to college and might not be able to afford very expensive books. But I would say instead of 
you know buying two books of 100 100 rupees why not buy a good book of 200 250 rupees or 350 rupees why not save up that money and then buy a book instead of buying a low quality book that you shouldn't be reading don't just go for a book that's of like 100 rupees and that everybody is buying or everybody is supposed to be buying and that's just easy to fly through so that you can brag to everybody about how many books you have read nobody is going to give you an award for the number of books you have read this year or in the past year or in your entire lifetime so why are you trying to bring in that number instead of bringing in the quality in your life do you get my point you really need to prioritize quality over quantity if you want to be picking better books if you want to read better books in this year and with that i would close my video i would like you to think over all the points that i have said in this video i would like you to ponder over these and make an informed decision about your reading habit and hopefully in just a few months you'll come to me and tell me about how you're picking so many good books because of this video and yes that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you like this video please make sure you hit a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to me and follow me on my social media at indian booktuber and yes that's it for today's video this is monthly signing off i'll be back with another video very soon